Have you ever wondered how a tiny device clipped to your finger can reveal such critical health information? The pulse oximeter is a marvel of medical technology. Small enough to fit in your pocket, but powerful enough to measure the oxygen levels in your blood. Its popularity surged during the COVID-19 pandemic, but its story and science go much deeper. Let's dive into how this ingenious device works and why it's so important. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. A pulse oximeter is a small, non-invasive device designed to measure two key things, your blood oxygen saturation levels, SpO2, and your pulse rate. Blood oxygen saturation refers to the percentage of oxygen bound to hemoglobin in your blood compared to the maximum it can carry. A healthy person typically has SpO2 levels between 95% and 100%, while anything lower could indicate potential health issues. It's a quick, painless, and efficient tool that helps healthcare providers and individuals monitor respiratory and cardiovascular health. At first glance, a pulse oximeter looks simple, but under the hood, it's packed with sophisticated technology. Most models consist of a probe, typically designed to clip onto your finger, toe, or earlobe, and a display screen. The probe houses light-emitting diodes, LEDs, and a photo detector. These components work together to analyze your blood's oxygenation level by shining light through your skin. The display screen then shows the readings in real time. Here's where things get fascinating. Blood contains hemoglobin, a molecule that carries oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Hemoglobin behaves differently depending on whether it's oxygenated or not. Oxygenated hemoglobin absorbs more infrared light and reflects less red light, while deoxygenated hemoglobin does the opposite. The pulse oximeter uses this principle to its advantage. The LEDs in the device emit two wavelengths of light, red and infrared. These lights pass through your skin, tissues, and blood vessels to reach the photo detector on the other side. By analyzing how much of each wavelength is absorbed, the device calculates your blood oxygen saturation. The finger isn't the only spot where a pulse oximeter can work, but it's the most convenient. Fingers are packed with capillaries close to the surface, making them ideal for accurate readings. Plus, they're easy to access, unlike your toes or earlobes, especially in a medical emergency. When you clip the device onto your finger, it ensures steady contact between the light sources, your tissues, and the photo detector. This setup minimizes external light interference, providing precise measurements. The pulse in pulse oximeter isn't just for show. It's an integral part of the device. The oximeter identifies your pulse by detecting fluctuations in light absorption caused by your heartbeat. With each beat, Blood volume in your finger changes, altering how much light passes through. By syncing these changes with its readings, the device can differentiate between arterial blood, which carries oxygen, and other tissues or venous blood. While pulse oximeters are incredibly useful, they're not perfect. Their accuracy can be influenced by factors like poor circulation, skin pigmentation, nail polish, or even bright ambient light. For example, if your hands are cold or you're wearing dark nail polish, the device might struggle to get a clear reading. Similarly, they're not as reliable at very low oxygen levels, where other medical tests might be needed for confirmation. That said, for most day-to-day -day applications, like monitoring a respiratory condition at home or assessing fitness levels during exercise, they're remarkably dependable. Pulse oximeters aren't just for people at home keeping tabs on their health, they're critical in clinical settings too. Doctors and nurses use them in hospitals to monitor patients undergoing surgery, receiving oxygen therapy, or battling respiratory illnesses. Paramedics rely on them to assess a patient's condition during emergencies. They're also common tools for pilots and mountain climbers, where low oxygen environments can pose significant risks. 
As with most technologies, pulse oximeters have come a long way since their inception. Early models were bulky, expensive, and confined to hospitals. Today, they're sleek, portable, and affordable enough for personal use. Some even integrate with smartphones or fitness trackers, offering a wealth of health data at your fingertips. Advances in sensor technology and algorithms continue to make them more accurate and user-friendly. Using a pulse oximeter is simple, but getting an accurate reading requires a few precautions. First, make sure your hands are warm and relaxed. Remove nail polish or artificial nails if possible, as they can interfere with the light. Place the device on your finger and remain still while it measures. Readings typically stabilize within a few seconds. It's important to remember that pulse oximeters provide a snapshot of your oxygen levels. If you're concerned about your readings or symptoms, always consult a healthcare professional for a comprehensive evaluation. The COVID-19 pandemic brought pulse oximeters into the spotlight. Low blood oxygen levels were one of the early warning signs of severe COVID-19 cases, even in patients who didn't feel short of breath. This phenomenon, called silent hypoxia, made pulse oximeters an essential tool for early detection and intervention. Their role during the pandemic underscored their value beyond traditional clinical settings. At its core, the pulse oximeter is a blend of clever science and practical design. It turns something as complex as oxygen saturation into an accessible, everyday measurement. Whether you're using it to monitor a chronic condition or just out of curiosity, it's a testament to how technology can empower us to take control of our health. Beyond its primary function, the pulse oximeter symbolizes a broader shift in modern healthcare, bringing advanced tools out of hospitals and into homes. Devices like these allow individuals to monitor their well being proactively, bridging the gap between patients and healthcare providers. This growing accessibility to medical technology is not just about convenience, it's about enabling earlier interventions, reducing hospital visits, and ultimately improving lives. So, the next time you clip one of these devices onto your finger, take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering behind it. From its precise use of light and hemoglobin science to its life-saving potential, the pulse oximeter is a tiny device with a massive impact. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.